Now, when you are citing sources, make sure you do your due diligence. What do I mean by that? You need to verify the information in, the, in those references, especially if you're getting the references from a previous paper. And you say, well, I'm making the same point that this previous paper is making, so I will cite the same references that this previous paper is citing. That's fine to do that, but you need to verify that those previous authors got it correct. So you need to go into those papers that you're going to cite and make sure that they say what you think they say. Okay, so you need to read them or at least read them enough to verify the information. Because the accuracy of the references is your responsibility as the author. You also need to make sure that your paper's reference list at the end of the paper matches up with the in-text citations. And so when I first started writing papers, I didn't use the reference managing software and I had to do that uh, manually. So I had to print my reference list and print my paper and you know trace through the paper and every time there was a citation I needed to go to the reference list and make sure that they were accurate with each other. That all of the references were accounted for, none were missing. Now I really recommend that you use reference managing software that makes this easy. Then your paper's reference list is automatically going to match up with the in-text citations. Also make sure that the references are showing up in the list in the correct format. So different journals are going to have different specifications, different styles for the way they want you to write formal citation. So they might ask you to um, have a certain capitalization. They might ask you to use italics for the journal names. They might want you to abbreviate the journal names or not abbreviate the journal names. So again, if you are using reference managing software, this is very easy because you, you tell the software which journal you're going to submit to and it automatically formats all the references. However, be aware that when you import references from databases like Google Scholar or Web of Science, there might be errors in the format that you need to correct. And you need to correct those in your database, not in your Word file. If you correct them in your Word file, the next time it, it syncs with your reference managing software, it's going to revert back to the information that's in the reference managing software's database and will overwrite all the changes you made in Word. Where are you going to be putting references in your paper? This table shows you where they're going to go. In the abstract, there are no references, typically. The introduction will have a lot of references, so will materials and methods. Results may have no references, or it might have a few. Uh, it won't be very many if there are references in the results section. And the discussion section will have a lot of references also. Where do you drop the in-text citation within your sentences? What I recommend you do is to go and look at the papers that you're reading and see how they do it. There are natural places where you would want to drop the references. Sometimes it's in the middle of the sentence. It's not always at the end of the sentence. So be aware of that. You might have a sentence that is a compound sentence with different uh, phrases that need citations for each of those phrases. And so you might drop the references before you get to the end of the sentence. So get a feel for how it's done in your field. Now I already mentioned reference format um, and that it differs by journal. So what you need to do is before you start writing, figure out what your target journal is and then go and look at their instructions. So the references could be author year, they could be a numbered list, they could be a numbered list that is shown as a superscript. It really depends on the journal and how they ask you to do it. Your reference managing software will put all the references in the correct format and in the correct order. So make good use of that.